Good morning, you guys. Happy official moving day, finally. Um, it's August 1st and my moving truck coming from Florida is finally arriving today. And we're moving into my apartment, finally. If you guys haven't been following along, um, I my moving situation's been like, kind of crazy because so I'm I've moved from Tampa Florida to LA and uh, I my moving truck in Florida came on July 11th today is August 1st and this was this was the last day in the time frame they gave me that the truck was gonna come and of course it came on the last day um, but so I've been waiting for almost another month and prior to the the 11th of July, I spent the month of June in LA, basically like acclimating, making sure I wanted to be here, finding a place that I wanted to live, just sort of like putting myself in the scene before I officially made the move. And I loved it and everything and I found a place. So now we're here and I'm moving in today. So I've had my apartment since the 12th of July. So I've been in and out of it quite a bit. I already have my dining table and chairs. I have a bar car. I have my living room rugs and whatnot. Um, and I also have a car full of stuff that <laughs> has been sitting in the guest room at my girlfriend's house because I've been basically having to stay there for a little bit just because I don't have a bed or anything at this apartment till today or it's not here yet, but it will be. And like, why would I stay on an air mattress here with half my stuff when I could stay like at an, an, a place that's like already <laughs> like, you know, livable. So today's the day that we move in officially. So that's exciting. I've had, I'm gonna be honest with you, a really rough morning. Um, I've been dealing with some health stuff that I don't necessarily feel comfortable talking about, but had some health or I've I'm continuing to have but I've been dealing with some health stuff behind the scenes that I don't really want to talk about online and I went to the doctors today and just I don't know doctors already just give me a lot of anxiety I struggle really bad with health anxiety and I yeah it just already gives me a lot of anxiety and so I, I just go in there often feeling on edge and I went to a new doctor today and I just sort of, uh, I don't know. I think a lot of doctors, as soon as they find out that you are a diabetic, they just sort of push you off and blame that for any health things you're having. So I went in for a, you know, a real, a real concern something that I've been dealing with for months now. And it was almost like as soon as she found out I was type one diabetic, she was kind of like, well, that's why you're dealing with that. And it was just sort of like, well, can you help me? Like, and I just, I, I kinda, I don't know. I'm not even a big medicine person. Like, I don't like taking Advil for a headache. I don't like taking medicine. I stopped taking spironolactone for acne because I hated how it makes, like, I just don't like taking medicine, and, like, that's totally a personal preference, but I, for what I'm dealing with, like, really feel as though I need help from medication, and I don't ever feel that way, and so I went in there, like, hoping she could give me some medicine to help me feel better, because it's been ongoing, and I'm exhausted, and, okay, I'm not crying. <laughs> So stop it. Um, and so I go in there. She starts telling me like, oh, change your diet, get acupuncture. And I'm like, respectfully, ma'am, if I change my diet, I'm going to be eating grass. I didn't say that to her, but I thought that in my head. Like, I, I mean, I do understand that I like eat out and I eat gelato and like, do I eat like 100% organic perfect all the time? No, but like that would be very unhealthy. Like that's not a healthy way of life and it's super restrictive and I've been down that path and that's not life that's revolving your life around what you eat and 
uh, she's like telling me to like get acupuncture and to go see the specialist that tells me what I should and shouldn't eat and to cut out gluten and I'm like I already have to think about food way more than an average person needs to and way more than I should have to as a human being like I'm not change I mean I didn't say any of this out loud but in my head I'm like I I don't have it in me to change anything else about my diet like I don't even know what I would change okay I stopped eating gluten and then like I don't know it's just like when you're diabetic you already have to think about food so much like I don't I'm not gonna unless I'm celiac I'm not cutting out gluten you know and uh, then I she's like get acupuncture I'm like girl I just need an antibiotic or something like I I don't need acupuncture and that's what I was thinking in my head but I was just like listening to her and I she kind of like finishes the conversation there and I'm like is there any medicine you can give me? And I, I, I kind of, uh, I did. I started to cry in her office. And I'm like, I'm very uncomfortable. Like, I really, like, I came here to kind of maybe get something to help me. <laughs> and I'm crying. And I'm, like, embarrassed because I'm crying. And I don't even know why I'm crying. And I'm crying because, like, I'm crying and whatever. And just because I just had so much anxiety, you know, it's, like, hard to control the tears. And eventually she prescribe me something and then they called into the wrong pharmacy and then I had they made me call a different pharmacy and I know it's like no big deal but it's just like when you already have so much on your plate it's just like overwhelming but I did it and I called the pharmacy whatever and I was like while I'm at it can I refill my insulin and they're like you need a prior authorization and I'm like how I literally pick up my insulin all the time how do I all of a sudden need a prior authorization didn't say that to them but like in my head so I had to call my doctor in Florida because I haven't found one here yet and had to leave a message because I didn't answer because I need to pick up my insulin but I need a prior station before I can get my insulin and I'm just like and then the person at the pharmacy they're always kind of rude because like I'm sure they deal with a lot of rude customers but she was just really rude to me because I was like oh I need this refilled she's like you need a prior authorization and then I figured because I have like three types of insulin that are like in the system and I figured that was like one of the old insulins I used to use. So I was like, oh, like not that one, but like what other, like any other insulin you can refill. And then she told me this other insulin that can be refilled. That's like another one I don't take anymore. And, and then I was like, oh no, not that one. It should be the vials. And she's like, well, you said, any, and I'm just like, I don't even know what I'm saying. She was just rude. And I was already like having a bad morning. And I was just like, and then I, I, I hung up and I just bawled my eyes out for a couple hours. So oh. it's been a morning and I, Feel like I can't catch a break so much is going on behind the scenes that just hurts me and I am just struggling so much mentally right now that I just I'm just oof, I'm really struggling and I hate being at a low point and I hate feeling helpless I feel like everything is like But on the bright side, I have a Trader Joe's Mexican salad to have for lunch today. Okay, what I'm gonna do is uh, bring in some stuff to my apartment on this first trip, including a change of clothes because I'm actually like dressed in a cute outfit. <laughs> hey, uh, because I was supposed to get lunch today at Nobu, but um, that's another thing. The saying nobu just reminded me because it's like sushi and my blood sugar always goes crazy after sushi i like i i literally have a very good well-managed a1c but last night i saw a video of another type of diabetic talking about her a1c and it was like insanely good and i'm like so envious and like i got really pissed off at myself and was like mad that I'm not at that A1C but I'm just like how could I be at that A1C unless I'm literally sitting in my apartment having no life besides making sure my blood sugar isn't high you know the only thing you can think of is like she just must have more low blood sugars than me maybe which I would not want but I don't know I'm like I just miss my healthy life 
want to deal with this health stuff anymore. It's like so exhausting. It's been a year and a half. Oh, not even. But I need to be grateful for what I do have. And I am. I love you all. Thank you for letting me vent. I'm going to bring in my change of clothes and change before I come out and grab the rest of my belongings. Well, whatever's in my car. Okay, everything from my car is up here. I want to take my shoes off because, I mean, now that I live here, I guess. Good. I don't know, I'm not really a shoes in the house person, but also this rug is so slippery. Okay, so my first course of action is actually none of that. I want to wash, sorry, it's so echoey in here, all of this, my sheets, so that when my bed comes, I can make it. So, we shall do that. We're gonna figure out this washer and dryer together. I also got this new laundry detergent to try out. I think I'm only gonna use it for like my bedding and my towels because it is rather pricey, but I've just heard so many good things about it that I wanna try it. I'll link it down below for you guys. You can just get it on Amazon, but I'm going to do that and then I also have my normal, yeah, I have my normal stuff in here too. But this stuff is stuff that needs to be washed because it's new or dirty. This is just like clothes I've brought over. Just so, so much to do and my stuff isn't even here yet. So, <laughs> all right, first step is let's go ahead and figure out this washer dryer. First order of business is looking at like the washing instructions of this and i think i'm going to wash each thing separate like i'm going to do my sheet separate from Ooh, i need this i need some scissors but don't you worry hold on last night i went to target and i got a box cutter because i knew that I would have to open stuff before I unboxed my scissors. Because my scissors are packed away. It was actually pretty easy. I think I put the detergent in right. It has like one of those like pull out things which I've never had before, but. Next thing I'm gonna do is, let's go ahead and sort. So this is like my dirty clothing. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it in piles in my closet um, of like clean, dirty, and dark white, you know, that situation. So also do you guys, whenever you get new clothing, do you wash it before um, you wear it because growing up, I never was taught that. And then as I got older, I learned that's like kind of what people do. So I started to do it. And now I feel gross if I don't. But like sometimes you just want to wear something before you can wash it, you know? So it kind of depends on my mood. Taking all the tags off. My stuff from my Calvin Klein brand deal. Okay, let me do some sorting. So this is towels. This is darks. Uh, I'm wash that with that. Darks. This is lights. This is like pinks and reds. And this is uh and like oranges. And this is purple, yellow, and blue. This is a new thing I'm doing because all of my like fun colored things, like my orange shorts and just things like that, like keep getting discolored because I wash them with the darks. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try that, that new strategy. So that's all sorted, ready to be 
washed. I guess I'll go ahead and open my other sheets now and lay them out as well so that I can wash these because these are going to go before the clothing too. This camera is about to die so I really hope I brought battery with me but the more I think about this coffee maker the more I think I do just want to put it over here. I saw somebody else have this exact coffee maker and theirs was like in the middle of the counter like this. So I think I'm gonna try to give this a go and um, see how I like it like in action because, I don't know. The only thing is I don't like how it can't go all the way back unless I guess I can move it slightly to the side. Okay, okay, that's not so bad. Okay, that's actually kind of cute. Okay, so I think I might leave it here and I want to fill it with water because um, I want to make sure it turns on because I don't think it'll turn on without any water. Red alive. <laughs> it's funny like how these things just like change. Like I remember when I moved out of my Boynton Beach apartment, I was like, I am never living in a place without a water dispenser ever again. And then my next two apartments didn't or did have water dispensers and I was like thought I'd never go back and here I am. But <laughs> you know, I also thought I'd never have a gas stove and I do now, so Oh, also you guys, this is just random, but I saw a comment that was like, I feel like you don't even like your apartment and you're trying to convince yourself. And I'm like, I like my apartment. It's just like, it doesn't even feel like mine yet. You know, like obviously I don't think it's like the greatest thing on earth when none of my stuff is in it. It's just an empty building at this, you know what I mean? Apparently you need beans to turn it on too, so. <laughs> Hoping it turns on after that, but, oh, dirty clothes, hold on. As I said, yesterday I went to Target and picked up a few random things that I needed. Oh shoot, this is not for me. <laughs> oh shoot, this isn't either. I figured I would show you guys. I got two hand soaps, one for my bathroom, one for my kitchen. Uh, I got some soap from Trader Joe's the other day, like last week or something, and it dries up my hands so bad. So I got this Method hand wash and this Myers hand wash. I think I'm gonna put this one in the kitchen because it's sleek and matches the sink and then put this one in the bathroom. And then I also just picked up more of my mascara. I get so many questions about what mascara I use. I'll link down below. I've used this since literally high school. Like I don't remember a time when I didn't use this. I know I've tried other ones, but I I've always gone back to this one and I just stopped trying other ones because I always like this one more. It's the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. It's the best. And I also picked up a new spoolie for my eyebrows and for my eyelashes because after I put mascara on, I like to brush up my mascara and then also I like to um, brush my eyebrows out after I shower. That's everything that I got. I also picked up some more skin grips from Amazon because... I think I mentioned it in a video, but I'm going to Disney next week, actually this week, later on this week, with my girlfriend's family. And I didn't have any of my skin tack wipes that helped this stick on, because they were at my apartment and I wasn't at my apartment when I changed it, because I accidentally ripped it off my leg. And I'm worried that it's not gonna stay the 10 days. So I got some more skin grip, which I don't really like wearing nowadays, because I'm going through an embarrassed of my technology phase but I might need these. So, picked those up as well from Amazon. Um, so I'm gonna lay these out and then I think I'm gonna go ahead and take the shoes out of my suitcase, maybe. Cause I have like a lot of clothing, but I don't wanna like take it out just because it's just gonna be like laying around and I don't have any hangers or my dresser yet. So I think I'll do the shoes and then I'll probably stop and eat lunch, figure out 
what to do. I don't know. I haven't heard from the movers yet about when they're going to be here beyond the fact that it'll be between one and four. So that's all I got for now. I was trying to preserve my camera battery because I realized my camera is still at my girlfriend's house, but I mean my other battery. Um, but I remember to have my other camera with me I can use just in case. So I'm gonna keep vlogging, but I just went ahead and put my shoes that I had with me out here. This looks a mess right now. My hopes is that one day it looks pretty, but obviously like I don't have any hangers and whatnot. But I did just get word that the truck will be here in 30 minutes. So that's super exciting. Also, I didn't show you guys this, but <laughs> can you see it? This is the coffee table I got. Literally, can you see it? It's just clear because I worried that once the couch and everything was here, it would look really cluttered if I put like a whole table here that like took up visual space. So I think this will be cute with just like a little book, you know, candle, <laughs> something cute like that. But I went ahead and moved this stuff out of the way because the movers won't be putting anything over here because like that's kind of done already. So yeah, and then, oh. <laughs> My wash is going crazy. Um, how many more minutes? Four minutes, okay. And then my closet is so scary right now and I'm just thinking they're gonna have to come in here to like put my wardrobe that they have in here, but you know what, whatever. Whoa, this is like the one room that doesn't echo right now. Hi. Okay, going to eat because I know myself and if they get here or once they get here, I'm like, not gonna want to stop until everything is unpacked because i'm crazy and i'm like really also good at unpacking like i do that so quick like it usually only takes me a couple days um also i want to see what it looks like once my stuff is in here but there's a possibility i might put a desk in my bedroom like right here in front of the window so we'll see but one last look at my empty apartment before it becomes filled and can start decorating oh wow this camera's gonna die but i'm gonna eat some lunch right now i brought with me this salad from trader joe's ew looks mildly disturbing but i'm gonna eat it and then the movers will be here soon all right you guys well the movers literally just walked out and this is what I'm left with. <laughs> it looks a lot more chaotic than it is, but we're, I'm moving along. I was kind of unpacking as I, or as they were bringing stuff in, um, but I'm making my bed right now with my new sheets. So that's fun and exciting. And I mean, everything is just very, very chaotic, but it is really cool to see my stuff in here again or just like see my stuff in general because also sorry, my laundry is still going. But like when I unboxed my teapot, I was like, I literally forgot I own that and I almost squealed. Like so many things that bring me joy, I forgot about and they're here now. But here's my living room. It's covered with clothing right now because they couldn't put my wardrobes in my closet because I didn't want to move all the stuff that's on the floor of the closet. So I was like, just throw it on the couch. Um, but I'm gonna unpack now, get some more progress done, and I'll show you guys in a little bit, but I'm kind of trying to preserve battery. I know that like unboxings are kind of fun to watch, but how fun are they really? But I'll show you the office. Whoa. Also, I like that I have, okay, this is about to die. I like that I have this alleyway because I think I can probably put Augie's crate. Oh, just ignore me. Anyways, this is the office. The Peloton actually takes up less space than I, originally thought or maybe the exact amount of space I originally thought <laughs> I don't even know but it's making me happy it's looking good so now time to get to it hi guys it's a lot later like it's literally 10 30 I'm not gonna lie I got really overwhelmed and just started like frantically unpacking and now we're here and <laughs> I did do a lot of unpacking I also showered and got ready for bed I'm in my new room, you guys. I still haven't changed this battery, but I do have the new battery. But I'll show you guys better in the morning. But 
looking so cute. The bathroom is still scary because I need the shelves put up tomorrow. I don't know if I mentioned that. And then things are looking good. It's dark in here right now because I have all lights off, but I have a lot of the candles. <sighs> Obviously I already <laughs> lit some candles to set the vibe. But I am just going to go to bed and rest up, calm my mind. I feel very anxious and frantic right now. So I'm just going to try to recuperate, start fresh in the morning, and start our new routine, kind of, because I leave in a couple days to go to Disney. <laughs> but, you know, we're acclimating to our new space. I miss Augie so much, but all good things. So I'll talk to you guys in the morning. Sorry, I started laundry again. I feel like this whole vlog is gonna have laundry going in the background. But is it a good morning? Because please look what I woke up to. <laughs> oh my gosh. And like, this worries me because is that gonna fall? You know what I mean? But uh, yeah, that's super cool. So I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna pick this up. I'm hoping it's just the shoes, but I don't know. Definitely not what I, definitely not what I wanted to wake up to, but everything else is held together pretty well. I fixed the rack, it's mostly fine. Um, but I'm, I'm going to go walk and get a coffee now. I'm just in a little workout outfit it's not a set because this is lulu this is aloe and just my apl sneakers which i actually really need to clean and i also really need to tie my left shoe guys i've noticed my left shoe always unties but only the left shoe so strange anyways let me go out to get coffee and then i'm also going to stop at trader joe's and pick up something to eat for breakfast then I'm gonna do a Peloton class, which I'm so excited for because I haven't done it in so long. Back from my little coffee Trader Joe's walk. My bag totally broke on the way, but not because it was heavy, so it was fine. It's just because these are like leaning against the bag. Is that super annoying? Well, whatever. Um, but I grabbed some fresh flowers to put on my table because I just love having fresh flowers in my space. And I just got literally the most basic haul at Trader Joe's ever. I got breakfast chicken sausage. I love these ones. Some raspberries and a salad to have for lunch. I got the broccoli slaw and kale salad. And I'm, I'm probably gonna go back later and do like a full grocery haul. Well, actually, no, I'm not because I literally leave in like two days. But maybe I'll, I'll go back later and get stuff that I need for like the next couple days. Although I do still have some stuff at Anna's. So maybe I'll, I do have to go over there today. So maybe I'll just grab that stuff. I'm going to cook up some breakfast. A lot of times, m like most of the time for breakfast, I'll do some sort of breakfast meat, like a chicken sausage or like turkey bacon or bacon. I, I don't do eggs right now. I think they break my skin out. Um, and I'm really getting a hold on my skin. And so I'm starting to really notice like what affects it and eggs I think are definitely one of them. So I've been straying away, so lately I've just been doing like 
a breakfast meat of choice, and then um, some fruit and berries. Fun fact, actually have the lowest glycemic index out of fruit. So they're the easiest on your blood sugar and you can have a lot of them for like less carbs than like other fruit. And then the salad I haven't tried before, but it sounds really good. Um, and I'm trying to like scream so you guys can hear me, but I am going to, after I eat, I'm gonna do a Peloton class and then I will get ready for the day and show you guys like what I did yesterday because I genuinely, I just felt so overwhelmed. I like couldn't think about unpacking and also I was doing a lot of the unpacking like the whole kitchen and everything were while the movers were here which I'm not used to because I've never had movers before and so they were here for like four hours and I was like unpacking as they went along and because of that I just like didn't feel much and then then they left and I was just feeling really overwhelmed and like very in the zone and then like I think I've said this before I'm like the opposite of like my brain is the opposite of ADHD. Like I focus in on so hard on whatever task I'm in. Like I am so like, like if you give me a task, I'm there like until it's done. And that's how I was yesterday. And I think thinking back on it, I kind of did that with my other apartment too. Like I didn't really show you guys me like unboxing things. I just showed you like what I did. So I'll go around and show you later. But I also have to get coffee beans so I can try out my coffee maker. Oh my God. And you guys, did I, okay. This coffee machine is actually like a meme now in my head. I got that espresso machine, right? I told you guys that. And I mentioned, I was like, I could have sworn I ordered it. And like, I, I knew I did. And then I even got a call from William Sonoma asking if I placed the order because it was like flagged. And like they wanted to make sure that it was me that placed that order because it's like kind of expensive. And I said yes. And then I couldn't find an email or anything about like where the coffee maker was or anything, any confirmation email. So I was like, what? I must not have placed it. Or maybe like they, they accidentally marked it as like I didn't place the order or something like that. So I called William Sonoma and made sure there was no order. They said, no, there's no order. So I placed another order for new, another, like the same coffee machine. And I, I got a coffee machine in the mail a couple weeks ago. You guys saw that video. Last night, what shows up at my door? The coffee maker. <laughs> so I did order it and now I have two, but the one I have is actually not turning on right now. So I don't know if it's broken or what, but I'm probably, I mean, if it's broken, I'll return it and just use the other one or I'll just return the other one. But I was like, literally what? I'm dressed for the day. I had a mishap and I had a bit of a meltdown, but we're back. <laughs> um, I'll show you guys in a sec, but I'm wearing just this very cozy outfit today. The shirt is from Brandy. These shorts are from Maritzia. I'll link everything I can down below. And some Maritzia socks and um, it's just about noon now. It's crazy because I'm so used to going to the gym and the gym I was going to was like 15 minutes each way and like it just took so much time that when you work out at home like you can just get so like it just is so much quicker <laughs> and I like it so much better. I even went on that like 30-ish minute walk this morning and even with that like I just not even noon which is amazing so I'm gonna eat the lunch that I got earlier in a sec because I am pretty hungry because all I had was that chicken sausage and some fruit but I want to hang my pictures up um, on the wall I'll show you where so if you guys remember these pictures um, right here were above my couch and um I want to revamp those photos like that's literally Arlo my parents dog that's not even Augie <laughs> um but I want to revamp the pictures and um or maybe I won't I don't know the only thing is I don't show my nieces online anymore and they're in those photos and 
I don't know. And they're old pictures of my nieces, but I want pictures of them. But just because I show so much online, I just don't really think I want... I don't know. They are old pictures of them, but still. And also, I have another niece. So, like, how can I not hang a picture of her? Do you know what I mean? But maybe I can. Maybe I'll put them somewhere not right here in, like, a different frame. I'll probably do that. But... I want to put them just like one, two, three, four above this and just command strips work fine for those frames. So um, I think I'm going to like go to CVS and get some more pictures printed. So I'm going to figure out, I'm going to go through my pictures when I eat lunch and um, like pick out what pictures I want printed. I also have that frame, that like wooden frame that I never did anything with. So I want to put a picture in that. And yeah, I am the TV is going to go here and then back here. There's stuff here right now because this stuff is actually my girlfriend's going to let me keep it at her house. It's like my Christmas tree, my Christmas decorations, like things like that because I don't really have a space for them here. And there is this space here because um, like just with the way the room is set up. It made sense with like where the TV goes. So I'm going to put Augie's crate back here and it'll be his like little sanctuary. And um, also, I don't I don't know why. And I haven't found anything else that's missing yet. Sorry, that's my um, dryer. But I haven't found anything else that's missing yet. But the pot that this plant went in is missing. It didn't. It's not here. So I don't know what's good with that. Um, but I haven't found anything else that's missing. And then also, I ordered a vanity with like a mirror and everything for this room because I'm going to put it right here. It's going to be like my desk slash makeup station so that this stuff that's like left out can be like in drawers and whatnot. And then I also got a little rack to keep in the bathroom here. And it should fit. I did like the fit in my space thing on Amazon and it shows that it fits right here so um hopefully it does but i'm gonna put that right there to like put towels and extra toiletries and whatnot and then i really want to put like a big picture back there i'm honestly thinking i might just do this one that i have that was above my bed because it just looks really nice so i might just put it there at least so that the nails are there and then if i want to like switch it out i can TV's gonna go there. I'm thinking about this area. I don't really think I want to put anything above it. I didn't at the other place either. And I don't know, I think it can just get really busy. But I am thinking I might put a little like floor length mirror maybe right here to cover up some of that stuff. And I'd just be able to like reach behind for the outlet. So that's kind of what I'm thinking there. And what else? Um, for my bedroom walls, I don't really know what I want to do. I'll probably put something here, um, but I'm not sure what. Okay, I'm gonna head over and go grab Augie's crate and whatnot from my girlfriend's. And then probably gonna stop and get another coffee on the way back because I, oh wow, it's out of focus, sorry, because I want to, um, what was I going to say? I want to, oh, get beans for the coffee machine. Guys, <laughs> I just took my food from Anna's fridge and, um, because now I finally have my own and I'm like laughing because this is the only bag she had left because she's moving too, so like all her bags are packed and so I have this like giant bathroom trash bag of <laughs> but i'm now going to zoom over to blue bottle this camera's dirty sorry i'll clean it later and grab some coffee beans pulls up, he gets in i'm assuming it yells on the go some beans for my coffee maker and um grab a coffee too but that's the plan it's 127 and the task grab it comes around three so 
got to kind of get a move on because everything around here takes so long. Grabbed my blue bottle coffee, as you guys just saw. And I don't know why, but I was just kind of feeling an iced latte. So I got an iced oat milk latte, and I realized I don't think I've ever gotten an iced latte from Blue Bottle. And it's so good. So that's super yummy. And then I just picked up their espresso beans. This was the only espresso that I saw. But I'm happy with it. So picked that up. And now I'm going to, well actually, let me see if my order at CVS, the pictures I got printed, let's see if they are, well, I haven't gotten an email, so I'm gonna assume not, and put this food away, cause I literally was like running to like get my coffee because <laughs> I have salmon, like ew, I don't want to sit in the hot car, but luckily I got a spot literally right outside. I don't know why this location is so chill, cause it's like, I don't know. This location's great and it's close by me, so that makes me happy. <laughs> okay, heading back home now. You guys, I'm freaking out. It's working. I'm just dumb, and it wasn't fully plugged in in the back. <laughs> and I really want to try it. I obviously, you guys saw, just got a coffee, but I must know how it tastes. Yum! Okay, yum! We compare it because it's literally the same beans. Yeah, yum. The only difference is my milk, I think. My milk is less, less, less frothy. Eee! Yum! It's so good. You guys, I just got sucked into my couch so hard for like an hour. Still working on my latte because of that. But I am going to do some laundry because my darks are dry. And I really like the setup of this apartment where like the laundry and my dresser and my closet are all like right here. It's really nice. Um, Cause in my last place, my closet and my dresser were right next to each other, but my, what do you call it? My like washer and dryer were by the front of the door. Oh, by the front at the door. That was not English. Also, I just went a little bit crazy like the past couple hours ordering some stuff online for the apartment. Like I got, an air purifier just because uh, I just feel a little bit stuffy in here. I don't know. I mean, I'm hoping it's just like because it's a new space and because I've been doing laundry for literally 24 hours because all the vents look nice and clean. Um, I'm hoping it's not like a mold situation, but I just don't think it would be. But regardless, um, I got an air purifier because I also, when I was sleeping last night, realized like I haven't slept without a fan since my West Palm Beach apartment, so it's been like a year. And I also always had a fan growing up and I think I just fall asleep easier when I have like the sound of a fan. So I got an air purifier because it sounds like a fan enough. It's just like some white noise. Um, so, oh, actually the task rabbit just texted what else did I get? Literally, like, I got light bulb for my green lamp out there. I got a butter, butter bell, butter dish. It's actually not a butter bell, it's a butter dish. And I got literally so many random things. <laughs> Let me look at my Amazon. Oh, I ordered coasters from Anthropology, and wait till you guys see them when they get here. They're so stinking cute. Oh, I got inserts for the pillows, the pillowcases that I got. I didn't realize that I only got pillowcases, but I ordered the pillows for that. I got, um, oh, the air purifier I got actually also comes with like little lavender scent pads, which is cool. So got those. Uh, I got a milk frother and steamer because my coffee maker doesn't have one. Got toothpaste, cleaning toothpaste. I got a thing, a container to hold Augie's food. Oh, I got an electric candle lighter to light, like, you know, the ones that are nice and long for candles. Got some more razor blades for me. Um, 
I got a scrub daddy and a scrub daddy holder. Actually, I like scrub mommies. I got a scrub mommy. I got the, like I said, the thing for my bathroom and the vanity for my office. And I think that's everything. But the butter dish I got is from the same brand as my tea kettle that I always get questions about. And I'm obsessed with my tea kettle. I got it off William Sonoma. I actually got it for Christmas for my mom. Last year, it's from William Sonoma. And it's the brand Mackenzie Childs and, or like the designer of Mackenzie Childs, I don't know. It's originally Mackenzie Childs, but Williams Noma sells it. And I got a butter dish from the same place in which you guys see. It's like actually to die for. And the coasters I ordered are so cute as well. So yeah, that's my update. Task Rabbit's about to be here, but I'm just gonna put, on, put away some laundry. Boom. Okay, it looks so cute. I literally love it. Um, so what I just did was, I mean, it's kind of random, but it makes sense to me. You know, it's like one of those things where it's like, is this organized? Not necessarily, but in my brain, like everything's where it needs to be. <laughs> so I have my lotion, my body oils, my deodorant, my mouthwash, toothpaste, and my toothbrush. Then I have my skincare right here and some face razors. Down here I have my hair care, hair clips that I use like when I wash my face, when I do my hair, and my two brushes I use the most. My everyday makeup, my body products like my dry brush, my gua sha, my um, face roller. Over here I got these new towels that I've heard good things about. You basically dry your face with this when you wash it instead of with a like towel. It's supposed to be better for your skin. So trying these out. Put those right there and then I put some of my floss picks in this glass. I have my soap right here, and then I have a little catch-all tray, which used to have my perfumes, but I just have so many now that it's too small, and I think it looks really cute right here, so I'm gonna put my jewelry on. Um, but that's that. Also, I've showered. I remember being like, I'm gonna be cold in my shower. It's not cold. It That blocks it, so you're not cold. It actually is a really nice shower. I enjoyed my shower last night and this morning. Um, Oh, this is what I was using for, or this is what I am using for my perfume tray right now. And I also ordered a really pretty jewelry box so I'm gonna put over here. And yeah, okay. Also, I'm so sorry. Like I have had, <laughs> here wait, let me put my jewelry on while I talk. I've had the laundry going this entire video, but I just like anything, okay, let me close this while I talk. Anything that was like in the moving truck I wanted to wash. Plus I had like so much laundry because I haven't done laundry in so long. But like all my bedding, even though it was like packed away, I'm just like, ew. So I wanted to wash it. Then I had, I also washed my new bedding and whatever. But I am, actually I'm not even on the last load yet. <laughs> I have one more after the one that's in there now. But that one's gonna be drying forever because it's my big fuzzy blanket. And then I'm kind of like, I kind of need to wash all these blankets too. <laughs> but I'm gonna wait because when he's at the sitter, um, like he has his blanket with him right now and I'm gonna wanna wash that when I come back from the sitter. So I'll just wash all his blankets when he comes back. But anyways. That's that, I need a little bit of lotion on my hands and I'm gonna go over to CVS and see if my pictures are done. I'm not sure if they are, but it's been like a few hours. So it was four pictures, I'm sure they're printed. That's the plan. All right, so I'm gonna go head over to my girlfriend's house. We're gonna have dinner. I think we're gonna order kava. I accidentally ordered the wrong size photos for my picture frames, so I ordered new ones of those, but they're already ready, but I'm not ready, so <laughs> I can't go get them right now. Um, but I'll pick them up tomorrow or later tonight. I don't know how late I can pick them up. And yeah, everyone's um, shitting on my TV on Snapchat for it being too high and too small. It's same TV as my last place and it's like a little high but like I don't know I'm weird about that stuff and even I didn't really think it <laughs> like I don't know it definitely like could be lower but like 
It, it looks fine. Maybe it just looks worse in pictures or something, but I don't know. Everyone's like severely offended by my, my TV. I don't think it looks that bad, but I think I am going to put a bigger TV there because I cannot, I need other people's validation. Um, no, I feel like it looks stupid. I don't really like the look of like a big TV. It's so ugly. What I really want is a frame TV, but like, not right now, those are so expensive. What the heck is wrong with my TV? We ordered some kava. I don't know which one's mine. We both get the Harissa avocado bowl, but I always sub the rice it comes with for brown rice. What? What? So if there's no rice in that, I took way too much insulin. Well, it cut off because I panicked because I dosed for my bowl already. And I was even trying to be good and I did it 15 minutes in advance, but then the driver took a little bit longer. So it was already like over 15 minutes, which if you guys didn't know, insulin takes about 15 minutes to kick in. And so it, so this thing you can do, it's called a pre-bolus. It's where you take your insulin 15 minutes before you eat so that your food and your and your insulin kind of kick in at the same time to help stabilize your blood sugar. So I did that, trying to be good, but then the driver took a little bit longer than expected. But I was like, it's fine, I'm having rice. No rice in the bowl. No rice in the bowl. First of all, ew. The Harissa avocado bowl is literally corn, cucumber, chicken, rice, feta. Avocado. Avocado. I literally had wet corn for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was good because like the the hot stuff they give you is good and the chicken is good, but it didn't have that like bulk of what kava is. I took like probably a fourth cup of rice from Anna's bowl, and it was like white rice, not and normally I sub it for brown, so it already had more carbs. I don't know how much. How many carbs are in a third cup of rice? Cause, uh, white rice, because I don't really do white rice. But I'm assuming it's probably like 15, 20. So I definitely still took under. I mean, yeah, I still took too much. But I'm hoping it's not horrible, which reminded me, because I was just talking about it. I don't think I ever talked about this. But like a month ago, I was at an Indian restaurant and I was so excited and the food was so good. But that was my first time having Indian food since I've been diagnosed. And I just kind of assumed it would be pretty high carb because Thai food has like a lot of sneaky carbs in it. So I assumed Indian food would be similar because they like, I feel like their sauces are at least like under the same umbrella. And like, I just figured, I don't know. I just felt like the sauces would be hiding a, a punch of like carbs. And I gave myself like a lot of insulin because I really wanted to pick out because I love Indian food. And we're sitting there and I'm trying to eat my butter chicken and my tongue starts going numb. Well, my blood sugar was already low and I knew it, but I was like, I'm eating so much food. Like I don't want to like have sugar because I'm like eating so much right now. And I assumed it would come up. It didn't and my tongue went completely numb. I was like so disoriented and I didn't even have, this was like totally my bad, it was like a diabetic oopsie, but I like didn't really have that much sugar with me. I had like a packet of, uh, like an applesauce packet that was 15 carbs, but I, I needed probably like 30, 45 carbs, like more than that or total, but like 15 would not have been enough with how low I was going because I had so much insulin in me and so I had the applesauce and just kept going down and like fast. And when my tongue started going numb, I was like, oh my God. And then I like panicked and I had to ask Anna to get up and get me a soda. And I don't even like Coca-Cola, but well, I asked for juice, but they were like, they didn't have juice. And the waiters were so slow. It was like, it was giving me flashbacks to when my pump was leaking into me while I was on a flight. And the flight attendant was so slow with bringing me my juice and I was like, panicking but 
Hopefully that doesn't happen tonight because that was not fun. That was my scariest low ever. I had another one uh, like a little bit ago. That it, was, it was the lowest it's ever been, but that one at the restaurant was the scariest. And I never want to feel that feeling ever again. Hi guys, I am back home. It's 8 or 9.30. And getting ready for bed. Put on some cozy shorts and grab a t-shirt from my closet. I think I'm gonna take a quick body shower. Um, I'm gonna do like a full shower in the morning. Also, excuse my closet lighting. But I'm going to do a full shower in the morning, wash my hair and shave and everything because I'm going to an event later in the day. Well, it's like a movie screening, which I'm excited for. And I'm going with my friend Michaela. And I'm super excited. It's going to be so fun. But oh, I have to think about it while I shower. I'm going to like plan out my day for tomorrow. But I am... Tired. I did. I don't know if I said on the vlog, but I did not sleep well last night, and it's catching up to me. But I still feel wired. Like I'm very like I'm tired, but I'm so like okay, what is it? What's there to do next? You know, like I'm very just like my mind is so occupied with like doing things like around the apartment, like. Oh, I do this and that. There's just so much to do when you move. It's just like craziness. But I'm going to take a quick body shower and then get a cozy for the night. But I will, I'll talk to you guys before I end off this vlog. But I'm going to end it here because I want to edit this um, tomorrow. Okay, guys. I'm going to go ahead and end off this vlog here. I'm so tired it's 10 30 now and i was gonna like have a snack and some tea and whatever and like chill but i just want to like go to bed <laughs> i'm tired so i wanted to go ahead and end this vlog here I'll tell you guys how much i love you and appreciate you and i'm really glad that you guys have been enjoying my moving videos because or i'm editing them and i'm like literally what am i even doing in this video like all i'm doing is like talking about what I might do in my apartment. I don't know. Like it just like feels really stupid to me, but you guys seem to be really liking it, which makes me really happy. And besides my TV, you guys have been really liking my apartment. So <laughs> that's good. But I actually did order this little like thing to go underneath the um, TV. So I'm going to put that underneath the TV probably before I switch it out. So I'll probably leave that TV. Um, and yeah, I ordered different curtains and curtain rods because the ones I got didn't work. Um, and I'm still deciding on if I want to put my picture my like canvas that was above my bed on that wall or if I want to get like a fun mirror to open up the space. I can't decide. I kind of want to do a mirror though. And I could put the picture in my bedroom again but on the wall. Or... I don't know where it'll go. It's literally from like Marshalls. Like it's nothing expensive or like I could always just give it to someone or donate it or whatever. But for now, that's that. So. I'm going to head off to bed. Thank you all so much. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys so super soon.